Welcome back. We are going to now look at the remaining operations with respect to list. Till now we have seen uh, insert function and we are going to, so we have seen an append function. We have seen uh, the how to find out the values within the, uh, how to find out the number of values within the list function. So what we are going to do now is to find out the other operations like remove, append, and extend. And let's see how they work, okay? So when you're talking regarding remove, let's say I have list of values where I have one, two, three, four, and again, I have two, okay? So when, suppose if I say I want to remove this value, we have already seen this function in the theoretical video, but if I, I'm just showing you on the practical side, okay? Let's say, let's say, what am I going to do in this? And suppose I want to remove this one, okay? When I want to remove one, okay, then I can just mention variable name dot remove of one. So what will it do? And it will remove one from the list. Now, if you see this example, this example contains two values of number, two values of strings with two, right? Two values of strings two. So I want now I'm going to remove these two values. What will happen when we have two values? You might be asking me which one will be removed. So what will happen in the sense the first occurrences within the list will be removed when we are trying to remove the value of two. Okay, the first occurrence is this one, right? So it gets removed, and the other values will be one, three, four, and two. This is what is nothing but remove. The, when you have single occurrence, it's very easy, but you have when you have multiple occurrences of the value, then the first occurrence will be removed and the other occurrences will be retained as part of the remove function. Okay, so uh, let us see and execute this one. Okay, so you see one, three, four, and two. So two is being removed. Now, there is another function as part of the list, which is nothing but an append function. Let's see how it works. Okay, here I have one list which contains one, two, three, and four. Okay, I have another list variable which contains five and six. I have different variable which contains five and six. So what is happening? I want to append these two lists. I want to append, I want to combine these two lists. So when I try to combine these two lists, there is a function called append function where you may use the first variable dot append of second variable, okay? First variable name dot append function of second variable name will append the two lists, two lists uh, into a single list, single list. So what is happening here? One, two, three, four. And, and again, you will have something called five and six, okay? So if you see, here, when you are appending, this will be appended as an internal list. It will not continue the values. Instead, it will be added as an internal list within this particular list. Okay, if you see here, one, two, three, four, five and six is nothing but an inter internal list, which is nothing but internal list, which will be appended to this particular list. Okay, so now, okay, this is done. This is done. Now, what is happening in the sense, suppose I don't want to uh, add it as a list. Instead, I want to uh, uh, mention these as a continuous values, like one, two, three, four, and five and six are the continuous values. Okay, if I want these to be continuous values, there is a function called extend, where you are going to extend your values with, with, the, with this continuation, continuation of this particular list. Like I have one, two, three, four, and I have a list two, five, and six. I'm going to mention list uh, first variable dot extend of second variable so that it gives continuous list of values one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, the difference between append and extend. What is the difference between append and extend? Append is going to add as a list within a list and extend is going to add the values into the same list. Okay, extend is going to add the values into the same list. So this is the difference between append and extend. So now coming back to the other parts, which we other operations, which are nothing but delete. Okay, so suppose if I want to 
delete a value if i want to delete a value based on if i want to delete a value based on uh, based on uh, indexing okay so if you want to delete an item based on indexing mechanism then uh, then uh, what we do in the sense we just mention del okay del which is nothing but delete mention the list name and mention the index okay this is a del function this is a list name okay del function list name and mention the mention the uh, this one the position or the index value so what will happen when you delete this position what is there in the first uh, index this is nothing but two okay so this will be removed so what will you have 1 3 4 and 5 these are the values which you will have okay now as i told you before there is another function which is pop pop will take the index like mention the uh, mention the variable name dot pop of index also does the same thing there are two ways one is using del list list uh, variable name and indexing or you can go with the list dot uh, list variable name dot pop of the indexing both does the same work okay so this is what we are going to uh, this is how we are going to uh, remove the value uh, we are going to delete the values from the list and what we have seen is based on the indexing what we have seen till now is based deleting the values based on the indexing mechanism suppose okay suppose we have some value we have some values now i want to remove the delete the values based on the values itself okay so you mention list dot remove okay list variable name dot remove and tell the value which you want to remove so this is the value which i want to remove right so when you print you see 1 2 3 is gone 4 is there okay so normally this is the functions so these are the main important functions uh, main important functions that we have as part of the list so you might be asking me how normally we are going with the slicing mechanism or how to access the values in the list variable so when we are having a list slicing okay list slicing so suppose i have numbers okay i have numbers list of values okay so here i have list of values and i want to print all the values just i take the variable name okay suppose i have a list of values i just want to print all the values i just go with the variable name but suppose if i want to print only first four values okay first four values so what do i do i mention the starting index and the ending index okay starting index and end index so that it will take the values of the uh, we it will take the values from the starting to the end index but what should be done in this sense when you are mentioning the ending index you should always mention that particular index plus 1 otherwise you will not get this particular value how it will take in this sense the ending value at the ending index uh, this uh, end, ending index value minus 1 will be considered when this is the starting index value this is the ending index value so how it will be considered ending in end index minus 1 will be considered as part of the indexing mechanism so 0 1 2 and 3 will be taken if i mention 4 suppose if if i mention 5 here then it will be taken till the index place okay so here if you see 0 1 2 3 till 40 it is being mentioned suppose if i am mentioning 5 you see only 10 20 30 40 is there so if i am trying to mention till 5 okay see we have got 50 if i mention till 3 i'll get uh, uh, mention till 3 i'll get only till 35 okay so let's see how the values are okay see i i'll got values till 30 so that's how the indexing mechanism or this is called slicing or uh, we can say it as a indexing uh, i mean um, uh, trying to retrieve values making use of slicing okay so even uh, try these things okay even try these things and see 
uh, how the things are working out okay and also as we have seen we have something called an append function which we have seen list append function extend function i'm sorry it's not append it's an extend function where we mention list one dot extend of list two where we want to uh, we want to add the values of list two into the list one apart from that you can add two lists making use of an uh, plus operator suppose list one is there list two is there if i uh, make use of a plus function plus function um, for the two where two list variables it will get uh, um, it will get appended or extended uh, the, the all the values of list two and list one will be there in a single list okay you can even you can do this way okay so this is how the list functionality works in the next video, we will try talking about the dictionary variable. Dictionary is also another type of uh, uh, mutable data type. We will talk about the dictionary in the next video. Thank you.